Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios. And today I would like to talk to you about another personality test. And that test is the How to Fascinate test by Sally Hogshead. I have found this test to be hugely helpful to me. Although I love the Meyer Briggs because it talks about how you feel and how you like to live and think and feel and make decisions, it's more of an internal sense of where you would be comfortable in what areas and what place. The thing about the fascination test is it actually shows how people perceive you. And that is really important when you are marketing yourself, whether you are doing a job interview, but also as a performer. Anything that you can do to quickly show who you are and what you are about is going to help people make decisions to cast you, to hire you, or actually for people to pick me as a voice teacher because they resonate with that. Let me talk a bit about Sally Hogshead. With her last name like Hogshead, she really needed to define her personal brand or passion. And she actually does a lot of corporate work and does um, consultation on the corporate world. But I feel that this test particularly is very, very helpful for not just performers, teachers, and anyone who deals with the public because you are going to be in control of how people perceive you once you understand this. The test is very simple. It's a very short test. And it is a paid test. Now, what I've done is if you buy two tests, you get a cheaper deal. And I bought tests for all my friends and family, actually, and I found it that helpful. So what the test does is it measures the seven ways that we are fascinating. And she has them down to, I'm going to look at my notes here so I remember, seven ways are passion, trust, power, alert, prestige, and mystique and innovation. So these again are just words that define concepts. Passionate people are very engaging, they use a lot of flowery language, they tend to really connect emotionally. People who have trust are the really stalwart people that are reliable, you can trust them. It's not that they're trustworthy so much as that they are consistent. They're very good at consistency and being reliable. Power are the the leaders, the people like take control of things and guide people, have leadership goals. They like to take initiative. People that have the alert are the ones that are always going to be on the lookout for what to be careful of. So they're the ones that are really good at um, making sure. So the alerts are the ones that we want to do product control, making sure the systems are working correctly, finding the problems. They're really good at finding those issues that maybe no one else wants to find. Prestige is the people that have high standards. They are, want to raise the bar, whatever they do. Mystique are the people that use that mystique, the mysteriousness, to create a sense of mystery so you want to know what they know. So that is maybe the shyer archetype, but it can be used in a positive way. And then there's the innovation. Sally used to call this the rebel, but I think she wanted to not be inappropriate for a business world because nobody wants a rebel, but the real energy is that is innovation. People that want to look outside the box and do something different. So when this test, we take a look at it and it's going to come up with your top two and that's going to be the archetype. And she has massive resources to help you realize the archetype. And then there's the bottom. And your bottom fascination is where you are not your strength. So that's a place to look at if you have to use those skills at the bottom, you're not going to be in your highest place. Um, you're not going to sell yourself or show yourself to your strength if you are operating out that way. Now, one of the things that Sally has said in her marketing material is we're all taught to kind of aim for the middle and she calls it watered down gray matter, meaning everybody's trying to like fit into this corporate ideal or this kind of average ideal and singers can often feel that way as well that we need to have this perfect idea singer or how we should be or maybe be like another celebrity it's really easy to get off track by trying to think of who you should be versus who you really are when I took this test I had just moved to Seattle and started my YouTube channel and literally when I I took this test, my website was gray. <laughs> it was totally watered down gray matter because I was trying to appeal to a broad base of people, which I still do. But since I took the test, I realized that I am the talent. That is my archetype. I'm passion number one and prestige number two, which is 
really totally me. I love to engage with people, I love to connect, but I have high standards and I want people to be their best. And I feel my teaching is about helping people do their very best and to raise the bar. And now that I've been marketing that way, I think I'm getting students, they want that personal approach and they want to gain skills. So that really works for me. And as a performer also, you know, I brought my little glitter today because the talent stands out. We get attention and it's not so much that, oh, I have a great voice, I'm talented, but I'm passionate about what I do and I want everybody to raise the bar. My lowest is trust. Now, it's not like I'm not trustworthy, but I don't really like facts and figures. It's, I work really hard to be accountable. I studied accounting in school. I really don't like it. I do accounting for my own personal business and other reasons, but I really feel like I'm being tortured every time I do it. So, going to become accountant was not really on my life path, even though I can do accounting fairly well. But if I had to do accounting every single day, I think I would probably have health problems and be depressed because it doesn't work on my natural strengths. I do better connecting with people and helping them raise the bar so they can do better. So that is the fascination test. It has probably been one of the most beneficial tests that I've had. It's really helped me as a singer and as a teacher, as a marketer. So I highly recommend that you take this test. I've had several of my students take it as well and they also found it helpful. So you can be honest because the whole idea is you want to be you, you want to show up and say, hey, I can see what you're about and I really like what you're doing and I want you. I want you to be my singer. I want you to be my teacher. I want to hire you. So this test is highly valuable and I hope you will take it and learn from Sally because she is great. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for the likes, shares, subscribes. I so appreciate it. And if you've taken this test, I would love to hear your results below. All right. Take care and have a great day and sing on.